In this next section, we're going to talk about NSX intelligence and a streaming telemetry integration with View Realize Network Insight. So let's first take a look at the NSX intelligence platform. So NSX intelligence is a network and security analytics platform that can be deployed with NSXT. NSX intelligence platform allows NSX to do analysis and implement firewall rule policies within the NSX distributed firewall within an on-premises data center. If you realize Network Insight, as you're aware, is a security analytic and network analytic platform that allows us to monitor our full networking infrastructure across our on-premises data centers, our public clouds, our hybrid clouds, VMware clouds, and much, much more. With the NSX Intelligent Platform integrated with VRealize Network Insight, this allows us to enrich the flow record visibility within VRealize Network Insight. NSX Intelligence Platform utilizes DPI, allowing it to do deep analysis on traffic flows. When we take a look at the integration of NSX Intelligence with VRealize Network Insight, you'll see that we have the NSX Intelligence Platform and the NSX distributed firewall is sending VRealize Network Insights collector VM flows that do not have layer seven info. These are five tuple flows that are shown in four tuple flows within VRealize Network Insight, as you may be aware. Since NSX intelligence platform has a capability of doing DPI, we can now take the flows with the layer seven application ID from NSX intelligence and stream those into VRealize Network Insight via the collector. This allows us to take the flow records that we're looking at within VRealize Network Insight and be able to see information such as the L7 service info for each flow. So we can see that the actual destination port is SSH and the L7 service is HTTP. So this enriches the flow record, allowing us to provide deeper visibility into flows within VRealize Network Insight, utilizing the integration of NSX Intelligence and vRealize Network Insight. Now, when it comes to the integration of NSX Intelligence and vRealize Network Insight, it's important to be aware of some of the limitations. So as I mentioned, this is going to add visibility into Layer 7 app IDs within vRealize Network Insight. The app IDs are imported from NSX Intelligence and stapled, as a term to say, onto the flows from the NSXT distributed firewall. You need to make sure that you enable both IPFIX and NSX Intelligence on the NSXT Manager data source within vRealize Network Insight. The App ID uses widgets are on the VM and the NSXT Manager dashboards. The supported versions of NSXT are going to start with 3.1 and above and NSX Intelligence 1.2 and above. There is a scale limit of 500,000 flows per five minutes. NSX Intelligence currently also delays flows with 10 to 20 minute delays. This integration is available today in vRealize Network Insight with the Enterprise Licensing, vRealize Network Insight Cloud, and vRealize Network Insight Universal. Now, when we're looking at setting up the data source within vRealize Network Insight to integrate NSX Intelligence, we're going to go under our NSXT data source and we're going to be able to see where we enabled the distributed firewall IP fix. There is a checkbox here, as long as you have the correct supported versions to enable NSX intelligence. So this will allow you to get the flow collection from NSX intelligence. So we'll want to make sure that we do enable that. And then when we see an event fired within NSX intelligence is detected, but not enabled. So in this case, NSX intelligence appliance is available. You will see this if you have not enabled NSX Intelligence. You can come in and go back into the data source and click Enabled, and you can archive this alert. But we will let you know if it is available that you can take advantage to enrich your flow records within vRealize Network Insight. Now, inside the Elasticsearch engine within vRealize Network Insight, we can utilize queries such as flow where app ID equals, and we can specify a specific layer seven app ID and run a query across it to see those flows. Again, you will also see those flows in regards to the layer seven info under the actual VM and the NSXT manager dashboard. 
As I said before, this helps us enrich the flows in regards to visibility into layer seven app IDs when it comes to NSX intelligence integration within vRealize Network Insight.